Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jo and this is Creative Empowerment and we are looking at a four directions spread today from the Sacred Path Cards by Jamie Sands. Obviously we're using spreads because spreads help us make sense of cards but if we pull random cards we often don't know the context that they're in so we're using this particular spread today to look at a broad overview of how we're balancing the directions in our in our life. So with this four directions spread, I am using the Power Animal Oracle cards by Stephen D. Farmer. Why am I using those? Not that sure. It's just the feeling that I it's the right right deck to use for this particular spread today. I have drawn our cards already. They're sitting here. I'm going to put them, place them in the the layout of this particular spread. So it's it's placed in a medicine wheel. So with east, south west and north cards now i'm just going to give you a brief overview of this particular spread so our four directions spread is a broad overview of how you are balancing your shields or your medicine or your directions each direction is a part of your basic medicine or makeup that allows you to be who or what you are in using the term medicine once again we are expressing the unique healing properties that every living thing has been endowed with since before the beginning of the physical world. Everything in our universe has the potential to be healing rather than harmful. Each flower, bird, tree, person, plant and cloud has a message that can express something that will allow another creature in nature, if it is wounded or seeking wisdom, to grow and heal. Now that's what we're seeking from doing this particular Four Directions spread. We're looking to seek wisdom or healing for ourselves. Our first card in the east represents or expresses the spiritual door you are now opening in your life. This card is the spiritual seed that needs fertile ground and nurturing. Now I can hear my voice is changing, um, a bit shaky. How do you accept the role of nurturing? How you accept the role of nurturing depends on your present situation and or state of mind. And mine is beaver. The beaver represents the spiritual door that I am opening in my life. This card is the spiritual seed that needs fertile ground and nurturing. How you accept the role of nurturing depends on your present situation and or state of mind. Go ahead and just do it. Productiveness. Well, beaver, I'm not really sure if that should be my message because sometimes I get myself in trouble just going ahead and doing it and not thinking things through. So as I often do, I am going to go to the guidebook because it's about my personal stuff. It is a bit more challenging for me to intuitively read the cards. Productiveness. Go ahead and just do it. Whatever the project is that you have before you, it is time to get to do it. It's time to get to do it. You think you have to do this or that to get prepared, but you could spend all of your time planning and organising and never get to it. You already have everything you need, just look around. And what you don't have will come to you as you proceed with your project. You've spent enough time thinking, talking, planning and preparing, so don't make a big, bigger deal than this, than it is. Approach it like building a dam, one twig at a time, no more excuses and nothing more to do to get ready. And you don't have to do it perfectly. I like that. You don't have to do it perfectly. Plus, you have a lot more support than you think you do. You not only have friends and family members who will be there, but support from your spiritual allies. You've given a lot of support to others, even though you tend to downplay your contributions to their lives. And now it's time for you to receive their support. So take a deep breath and get on with it. And additional associations, enthusiasm, community, cooperation and ingenuity. Ingenuity. So this is talking to me about just doing it. The spiritual door that is opening to me, um, you know, expanding on my life is go ahead and just do it. I really like that as the in the East, because the East is the thing where things begin. So, you know, that idea of just go ahead and do it, love it. Now, the next card is the South card expresses where faith should be placed or where a loss of faith has caused you to feel weak. You must determine which ap application touches the child within that child knows the truth due to, due to its faith and innocence. And here we have empathy, koala, speak less and listen more. Well, I do talk a lot. <laughs> um, but empathy, this is an interesting card for me because empathy is one of my 
my strongest clairs clear sentience and clear empathy are my my strongest that i receive information through and you know they're they're the things that probably have challenged me the most but it's telling me this is where my faith needs to be and it kind of makes a lot of sense here it seems that a lot of folks use a lot of words many more than are really needed it's rather narrow to consider communication to always be about words you can fill the air with words and sometimes even use them to cloud deeper sentiments and feelings talking so much can take away from the elegant pleasures inherent in stillness that's obviously a key point stillness as the old adage goes, be still and know I am. Talk less and you'll find immense opportunities to not only listen but to really hear. Even though it might sound strange, you can never, you can even hear silence. Get to know others in a different way. Ask simple questions, then tune in not only to the words they say but more important to the subtle body language with which they express the words. You'll pick up nuances and feelings and meanings. Some that even the speaker isn't aware of. Listen closely as you walk through the woods. You can hear the sound of your heartbeat and breathing, the song of birds and the whispery crunch as various critters make their way through the forest. Make a point today to speak as few times as possible and only when absolutely necessary. Instead, use your ears, eyes and physical senses as a conduit for more profound connection with an understanding of the world around you rest detoxif de detoxification i might need that one um, safety and sensitivity so that's really quite an interesting one about speak less and listen more yes definitely and it talks about being a loss of faith and yeah i have definitely lost faith in my own abilities at different times and probably also to the connection of spirit so then we have our west card and this card represents how to find the inward answer that introspection brings. And this is a challenge for me. To reach our goals, we must seek our own truths as to what we desire, how we plan to fulfill our desire, and what our purpose is in meeting that goal. The West card gives the tool that may assist in finding those truths. Now it's interesting because as I was reading that, I really tuned out and I really noticed that I wasn't paying attention because I think this is probably my challenge. The inward answer that introspection brings to reach our goals we must seek our own truths as to what we desire how we plan to fulfill that desire and what our purpose is in meeting the goal yeah i i now know why i tuned out for that because these things challenge me our next card is our oh these animals are funny pay attention to signs omens to find the answer you're seeking, it's extremely important to pay attention to signs, especially repetitive ones. These are clues you can see, hear or feel around you. Sometimes they're subtle, sometimes very obvious. These messages may come through a conversation you overhear, a newspaper headline you have just happened to glance at, a friend calling on the phone or any number of other ways. The key is to be open at this most auspicious time for guidance in the form of these, for, of these omens. These are not random occurrences, although they appear outside your own skin. They're responding to a call your soul is making. Whether or not you're aware of it, these omens are manifestations of spirit's directives, so it's important to keep an eye your, and an open mind and heart to the clues or the cues you're receiving. Don't overanalyze them, but do heed them. By observing with your own senses, the wisdom of the natural world and even the human world or the human made world will speak to you wisdom shadows secrecy magician so this card here this is probably my most challenged position out of looking at these cards this west position the inward answer i suppose i'm challenged by it because maybe i overthink the signs and you know the the symbols the repetitive signs that i get because i definitely pay attention to them but maybe i overthink what they're meaning in my life and the other thing is I feel like the introspection of this particular West card is also where I get challenged. So perhaps I can't do the other parts of it, which I'm going to repeat because if you're watching this video, perhaps you're also challenged in these areas. Maybe, maybe not. The inward answer that introspection brings is what this whole particular West card is about. To reach our goals, we must seek our own truths as to what we desire how we plan to fulfill that desire and what our purpose is in meeting that goal. That for me, I just need to keep reading over and over again 
but maybe reading over and over again is not the point of this but letting it digest and even though that's not what that card is talking about it's making me take notice because it's about finding those truths and going within and owls very much about that introspection about wisdom from taking notice and 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 seeking that solitude so yeah it's still challenging me that card it really is so if you if you have a a way of understanding that card then please please put it in the comments below our final card is the wolf card and it's a guardian the north card represents the wisdom you will gain if you follow a true course and apply the knowledge of the other three cards the north is also the place of the elders gratitude and healing the north card may be a tool you may use for seeking personal healing and or for discovering what blessings you should give thanks for and the fact that it's got guardian written on it and it is the place of spirit the north it is also the place of elders and knowledge and things like that so that's kind of interesting that that's the position and the message here is you are safe and protected at all times trust that the physical emotional and psychic barriers you have erected to protect yourself from past hurts and wounds are simply no longer needed you've moved beyond your need for the illusion of safety that these habitual defenses have provided it is time to trust that spirit is always available to aid in your protection when you really need it relaxing these barriers and knowing that they're accessible if you really need them leaves you open to love both giving and receiving especially to the ones you're closest to. I'm starting to smile because this makes complete sense for me. Don't hold back, clutching to some obscure fear that others won't love you back. Be courageous in expressing your affection for those you love and know that your family ultimately extends beyond any lines drawn by hereditary race or species. All of these being, all of us beings on this planet are family, whether human, animal or plant. And the more you love, the more love finds you. Take good care family loyalty friendship and teacher and that makes a lot of sense to me because i have built up a lot of barriers to moving forward and to being loved and expressing love because i felt very hurt complete sense here in this final card of the the four directions and the north card that is a wisdom that i will gain if i follow the messages of the other three cards so go ahead and just do it really connect in with my empathy and perhaps talk less and listen more and use this as a superpower that it is for me and go within really go within and, and then allow the signs and messages to to speak to me you know know that I'm always safe have that really strong connection because these two cards here feel like they're really pulling me into that the, the void where everything is created sort of outwardly focused cards and then inwardly focused cards <laughs> I'm always surprised that I learn something which is totally stupid because <laughs> that's why I do what I'm doing because I know that I'm learning and I hope you are too I think this one has more to give and I think I might make this video again with some other different cards but there's some other spreads to do first and then maybe go deeper with it what did I get from this uh, probably an expanded viewpoint because I keep getting this just do it sort of energy even though I've spent a lot of my own personal strength in just doing things and probably floundering or you know not making the headway that I wanted but I'm still being told by spirit to do it just bit by bit by bit but connect in more and you know use this superpower that I that I feel that I have the empathy and clear sentience as it's been given to me by spirit and just keep following that direction so yeah the more that you speak these things out and this is a, a big tip if you're someone who reads for yourself is speak it out loud because it really changes the way you 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 feel it you hear it you know like it it opens things up for you so that it's one of my my tips that that really helped me with my own readings positives and negatives about this positive it did open this up for me negative 
I feel like I still have lots of questions when it comes to this. So I, I, I think I'm going to, when I edit this video, I'll go back and, and I, I see different things when I edit the video. So I may put them in the description below, but not set, not necessarily set on that. Will I use it again? I absolutely will use this again because I feel like there's more to give. And I feel like there's more, you know, each day we grow, there's going to be different things that we see. If you would like a private reading, there are links in the description box below. Please follow me on other social media forms. I have a, a tarot and oracle community. And if you would like to submit a question there, that I'm open for those at this point in time. But if you're watching this in the future, you might need to check then. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to please like and share and subscribe to this channel.